Hi everyone, I'm Mario. Welcome to my channel. Today, like you see, I'm my bare face. So we are going to do our makeup together. We are going to use this baby right here. For those of you who don't know what this is, this is the Kylie Cosmetic Royal Peach Palette. This is what the palette looks like. There it is. It's absolutely gorgeous and it comes with a brush. The brush is really good, I heard. I don't know, I haven't tried it. We're gonna try the palette together and we're gonna see how it works. Once again, excuse my voice. I'm not 100% back yet for my surgery. So uh, let's do this together. Please bear with me, this is my first get ready with me. So let's see how it goes. This video is gonna be a mess. Okay, we are going to prime our eyes first. Um, for that, we are going to use the Paint and Paint Pot from MAC, like I always do. And yeah, I'm gonna put this on my lids. I normally use either a brush or my finger. I couldn't find the brush, so I'm using my finger. I'm gonna tap the product into my lid all the way to my eyebrow. There you go, now I'm gonna set that. And to set it, I'm going to use a regular powder. In this case, I'm going in with a Laura Mercier translucent powder and any brush. I normally use one of these large shader brushes to set my primer. This one is the Morphe 202 M202. So a little powder and you have to set it so the eyeshadows that we put on top will blend simply. I'm sorry if I do this a lot, but um, my throat still hurts a lot and um, I'm a little congested from surgery and stuff, so I apologize. Now we're going in with the palette. And we are going to start with this shade right here, which is Sorbet is the name of this shade. Morphe E40, I'm sorry, Sigma E40. And we are going to put this in the crease. This is going to be our transition shade. This palette has really good reviews um, online. I don't know if it's available at the moment in the website because I haven't been in the website for a while and I didn't check before I sit down to film today. But, um, it's, so far it's really good the first shadow that this shadow is really pigmented and it's very very pretty like you see now we're gonna take this color which is called peachy and we're gonna use the brush that comes with the palette and we are going to put this color also in the crease but a little closer to the eyelid Wow very pretty very pretty peachy color, very pigmented, really easy to blend. And this brush is really good too. Natural hair spec is really really good. It doesn't have any number though. And we're gonna work this in the crease. And then we're going back to the other brush, make sure that it's blend with the first color that we put in. Now, we are going to use, which shade are we going to use next? I'm gonna use this shade right here. This one, it's called Cinnamon. And using the same brush, we're gonna put it in the same place on top of the peachy color. This is just gonna give it a little more dimension to the eye. And it's just gonna look prettier. That's 
has a, these shadows has just a little bit of fallout, but I mean all of all of them do. But not bad, not bad. So far I'm impressed. Now we're going in with this bad boy. This color it's called Duke, and we're going to apply Duke all over our lid. This brush that I'm using is the is from BH Cosmetics and it's the 103 brush. I'm gonna wet the brush a little bit with Fix Plus. And we're going back to this color in the palette. This one is called Duchess. And we're gonna apply this in the inner corners, in the inner part of the lid. Okay, now we're gonna use this Too Faced Marker Sketch. It's a liquid liner. It's one of those liquid liners that has a felt tip. And we're gonna do a wing with it. You know, you guys know I love wing liner, so why not? And hope for the best. Now we're going with the lashes. For lashes, I'm going to use the new bottom Russian Black is the name of the uh, style of the lashes. Are this one right here? They're really long and really dramatic, and I love them. So let's do this. Here we go. Once again, I can't talk to do this. So. Oh, no, son. Lashes makes a huge difference. Huge difference, in my opinion. You know, this eye versus this eye. I mean, if you have long, beautiful ashes, lashes. Just put mascara on and you're good, but I wasn't blessed with beautiful black lashes. Mine's are very short and they're looking down. No matter what you do to it, it's all they're always looking down. So I have to use false lashes all the time. And there's that. Lashes are on. Now if you're starting to make up or if you are trying on lashes for the first time don't get frustrated you won't get it right the first time or the first three times I actually gave up many many times before I finally mastered the lashes I suggest you to start with a more simple style like Ardell lashes are very easy to put on because they are uh, the band is not it's not really thick it's really small and you can actually bend it really easily and it's easier to maneuver in order to put it on but uh, yeah don't give up okay just remember it's just makeup it, you can wash it off at the end of the day so just keep practicing and keep practicing if I can do it anybody can do it so let's move on and now let's clean our face a little bit because I have a little bit of fallout on the cheeks so Let's clean that up. I use the Bioderma Laboratory whatever Sensibio Micellar Water Makeup Remover Micell Solution. It's really good. It's my favorite. It doesn't burn my eyes and it takes all the makeup off. So 
cleaning. And we're going to prime our face. Now for face primer, I'm going to use this Becca Backlight Prime Filter. This one is a radiant primer. Uh, it's a luminous primer, so it gives you like a glow to the skin. I know I mentioned a million times that I have oily skin, but it's winter now. And I don't know why my skin is being dry lately. It's weird, but especially weird around my nose, it gets flaky and I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So I'm gonna use this baby since I'm gonna use a uh, oily free foundation. I'm gonna use a luminous primer. Let's put this all over our face. Now that the primer sets in into the skin and it's nice and dry, we're going in with the foundation and for foundation I'm using this Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation. It's mattifying and it's oil free. It's ideal for oily skin and as you guys noticed, my face is more red or redder than my chest and my neck. So I match my foundation to my neck and my chest and not my face. Because if I match my foundation to my face, I look like a red tomato and I don't like that look. So, yeah, I'm going to pump a couple of pumps into my hand. And I'm going to use my trusty Morphe M439 to buff this into my skin. Now for concealer, I'm going to use the uh, Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is my go-to concealer, it's my favorite. And I have two shades. I have this one that is my medium light neutral shade. That is the shade that I use the most. And I also have the uh, Light Warm. This one is the shade that I use when I really warm my under eyes to be really bright and really um, bright and when I'm really pale so I'm gonna use this one today because my foundation is not so pale I know people normally put um, concealer on the bridge of their nose and their forehead and um, their chin I don't I don't do that I don't, I don't hide like those areas with concealer. Now to blend this out, I'm going to use, oops, I'm going to use the uh, Sigma F86 to blend this out. Okay, foundation, I mean concealer is all blended out. Now we're going to set it with Laura Mercier again. This one is Morphe E49 and we're gonna put this under our eyes to set the foundation, I mean the concealer. And to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Morphe M444.
Okay, now to finish the eyes, we're going back to the Kylie Cosmetics and we're gonna use this blue right here. It's called Royal. This blue is called Royal. And we are going to use a definer brush. This one's from Sigma, it's the E15. And we are gonna apply this bad boy really close to my lash line. And now to blend that out. I'm gonna use a pencil brush. I'm gonna use this from, this one from BH Cosmetics. It's number 105. And I'm going in with this color. It's called Peachy. Going in with Peachy. And we're gonna blend that out. Now for the waterline, I'm going to use this Jouer eyeliner, it's called Matte Navy, the color, and it's a very deep blue. These eyeliners are awesome, they're my favorite so far. They're super, super creamy, super long wearing, and they're absolutely stunning, stunning. I'm gonna put this in a waterline. Now before I highlight my um, brow bone on my inner corners, I always do my filling my um, brows. Uh, for that, I always use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Ebony. Okay, one one's done. Again, fitting your brows, big difference. Look at this eye compared to this eye. Wow. I was living under a rock before I find out about makeup. What was I doing with my life? Now to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner, I'm going to use this shade. This one is called Seashell and it's the one I'm going to use. Let me find the brush that I used for that. One is the Sigma E21 and this highlight. To finish our face, we are going to use the Chiqueton palette from Benefit. It's this baby right here. I'm going to use the color Hula to bronze my face. Now for blush, I'm going in with this Dandelion shade and on my Morphe E4, I'm going to put this on the apples of my cheeks. It's a very soft pink, it's very subtle but it's very very pretty.
Now to highlight, I'm going to use this Makeup Geek and um, Kathleen Lights Highlighter Palette. And I'm going to use this shade, which is, what's the name of this shade? I don't know. Nightlight. Nightlight, and I'm going in with the Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush, the F35. And I'm gonna highlight myself away. And to finish the look, we are I'm going to use this Kylie matte lipstick in the shade Angel. It's a very nude, pinky shade and yeah. And that's it. I'm gonna use some setting spray. To make sure that don't make the makeup last all day this one is from makeup nothing or bend decay all nighter makeup setting spray and that's it this is our finished look very peachy very pretty in my opinion the palette is absolutely amazing has wonderful shades very pigmented and I really really like it I give it a big thumbs up and I loved it I really like the way the makeup came out um, that's it that's the finish of this video don't forget to subscribe before you leave give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys on my next video besitos bye I love you